Now let us discuss about the cooling effect by evaporation. That is how evaporation causes cooling. So evaporation causes cooling by gaining heat energy from its contact body. So it gains heat energy and cools the contact body. Here the liquid which is in contact with any body gains heat energy from the contact body and it gets vaporized due to evaporation. So here the heat energy so here the heat energy is absorbed from the contact body and that heat got vaporized due to evaporation leaving the body cool. So this indicates that evaporation causes cooling by gaining heat energy and making it vaporized due to evaporation leaving the body cool. So the main examples are sprinkling of water on hard surface. So if we sprinkle water on hot surface, the water molecules gain heat energy from the hot surface and they get vaporized due to evaporation leaving the hot surface cool. And another example is pouring acetone on palm. If we pour acetone on our palm, it gains if we pour acetone on our palm, it gains heat energy from our palm and it gets evaporated and due to which our palm gets cooled. So here evaporation is evaporation so here evaporation of acetone causes cooling on our palm and last wearing cotton clothes in summer is also one of the best example which says evaporation causes cooling. So the water or so the liquid so wearing cotton clothes in summer is the best example for evaporation causes cooling. So if you wear any cotton clothes, the surrounding liquid gets absorbed on the cotton clothes and those clothes are evaporated and those clothes are dried up due to evaporation and due to this evaporation the heat energy is gained from the body and that got vaporized due to evaporation. So the heat exchange between dog and jacket takes place resulting water vapor so that heat dissipation is also is taking place so the body gets cooled.